Hey everyone, it's Maddie Schmidt with Co-op Solutions and with layoffs taking place and graduations happening across the country, there are a lot of people in the job market right now. So I felt it was a great time to share my top five job search tips. Number one is to research job titles. So in a dream world, I could get all the companies in the world together and we would decide on universal job titles. But until then, you'll have to realize that every company may have a different title or name for very similar jobs. For example, I'm a recruiter, but other companies may call me a sourcing specialist or a staffing manager or a talent acquisition partner. Uh, all different titles, but all really looking for the same skills and qualifications. So you'll want to do some research up front to know what different titles are out there so that you can widen your search and make sure your next opportunity isn't missed just because of what it's called. Number two is stay focused. There are a lot of opportunities out there, and it's great to be flexible and open to opportunities, as well as having interest in potentially multiple different areas. But I think, in my opinion, it's a red flag to recruiters when you apply for, say, 10 different positions across different departments of our organization. It, it lacks a sign of self-reflection and knowing what your strengths are, where your interests lie, when you just mass apply to any open position on our job site. So take some time to really think about what you want to do next and apply to those positions that are a fit. Number three is don't count yourself out. As a retired athlete and coach, I have to say it, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Don't expect yourself to meet all of the qualifications perfectly in order to apply, especially women. Research has shown that men will apply to positions that they meet 60% of the qualifications for, whereas women hold ourselves to a standard of meeting 100% of the qualifications before we will apply. So if there is a position that you are interested in and you meet a majority of the qualifications, I say go for it. The caveat to that is be reasonable. If it's a senior level or manager position and you don't have any experience in that area, I'd hold off. But if it's a position that's asking for two to three years of experience and you have one year and you're hitting a lot of other things, I say go for it. I'm sure you've heard it before, but I gotta give it to you for number four. It may be who you know. Shocking stat that I just heard recently, 70% of jobs go unposted. So how do you find out about them? You have to grow your personal and professional network. This could mean reaching out to companies you're interested in working for, connecting with people who are doing what you wanna do, uh, or just putting yourself out there, letting people know that you're on the job search, what skills you bring, what your interests are, and the larger you can make your network, the more chances you have to find someone who's hiring or find someone who can point you in the direction of someone they know who's hiring. So put yourself out there. Finally, number five, shout out to my teammate Robert for this one. He says, keep yourself busy. Just because you're in between jobs doesn't mean that your professional growth and development should be put on pause. Now is the opportunity to take advantage of online courses and trainings and webinars. There's so many free resources out there to continue growing as a professional. Or you could volunteer your talents and skills to a local organization. This is a great way to not only continue developing, but also helps you with that networking piece too. By keeping yourself busy in the interim, when you land that next interview and they say something to the effect of, oh, I've seen you've been out of work for the last couple months, what have you been up to? You'll be able to wow them with your answer. That concludes my top five job search tips. I hope at least one of them can be helpful for you. And if I can just end this with a word of encouragement, I've been there, many of us have been there, it can be a discouraging time, but all it takes is that one opportunity. So go out there and get it. And, and maybe that one opportunity is at co-op. So check out our careers page below.